tuning in, this is Optivanus coming with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Voyager Class Ultra Magnus. Now the character of Ultra Magnus finally comes to us in the Beast Hunter series, so naturally they're going to give us a toy form. Now this is a, a remold and a repaint of the R.I.D. Optimus Prime, which is really very cool looking. Now I'm actually really impressed with this. I really dislike that R.I.D. Optimus uh, as Optimus Prime. So as Ultra Magnus, the character it fits a little bit more because he's a little bit different looking. And I really do like that. Now this actually looks like it's the Arms Micron one with the, the peg here, or the whole peg on the side here, which is interesting. And it says it comes with the Forge of Solus Battle Hammer. As you can see, you got the Forge of Solus Prime. Again, wonderful accessory to have. It's got his missiles. Uh, you have really big shoulder pads, which is iconic for Ultra Magnus. Very cool looking. Come around here on the side. You got Ultra Magnus. He's holding the Forge of Solus Prime, which is kind of weird. Now some people might complain because that's not the proper color, but it does have have a very nice kind of silver paint on there which i'm really really interested in come on here to this side and you got the one word bio forum and this is the elite autobot special forces commander is ready to bring the battle to the predacons with the mighty forge of solus battle hammer okay uh, and then come down here to the technical data and I, I find it very interesting that if you haven't seen my review of grimwing uh, the specs for him were amazing and much better than what we have here with ultra magnus at least in my opinion, because you got a skill of six and you got a speed of five. I think the lowest uh, tech spec for, for Grimwing was a, a speed of eight. That was the lowest that he had. So really very cool. Then you come around here to the back, you have his truck mode. You got his robot mode. You got the characters from Transformers Prime, uh, specifically the Autobots. And then it says the Forge of Solus Battle Hammer. Okay. Naturally, I mean, you, you would imagine Ultra Magnus coming with a hammer, but he really hasn't wielded the Forge of Solus Prime yet. And it's, fu it's interesting because he's not a prime so he shouldn't be able to wield that at all uh, it does have two launching missiles and a flip down missile launcher you can also see that he's got wings here which is really interesting kind of giving me that that beast hunter voyager optimus prime look so really kind of cool then you come around here to the bottom and obviously there's grim wing so there's the packaging for ultra magnus i know a lot of people are really curious about this so let's get him open and see how cool he actually is Okay, so here we have Ultra Magnus opened up out of its packaging and in his truck mode. Now, granted, we have not yet seen Ultra Magnus in any kind of alternate mode. Now, we've only really seen him in like two episodes so far, and only one of them was kind of a, a primary focus kind of episode, but he hasn't transformed yet. So we don't know if this is what he's going to look like in his transformation or what, but to be totally honest, this mode is kind of blah to me. Now, one thing that I want to mention is that out of the package, he does not come with the smokestacks that Optimus Prime did. This way down the packaging of him, you can clearly see smokestacks on the side, and you got the other one there, so I don't know what that's all about. But vehicle mode is kind of weird, especially with this big giant thing hanging on the back now you don't have to have this attached it, it does remove and i'll show you that here in a little bit but I, I don't particularly like it now i also didn't really like the the rid optimus prime and unfortunately i no longer have that figure to be able to do a comparison but uh, i kind of remember some of what was going on and i'm able to go back and look at my old review to kind of point out highlights and such but uh, as you can see he does have the the arms micron ports here and on this side so it is obviously using that mold uh or parts of that mold. There are some bits that are different on here, like the whole windshield section, that's all entirely different. Uh, and then uh, his shoulders are dramatically different, and obviously he's got a different head. But beyond that though, that's really all that's different on this figure, in terms of the molding. Now, like I said, this whole back section, it, it just really reminds me of the movie Optimus Prime. How you could attach the, the jetpack thing to the toy. Uh, that's really what this reminds me of. Now you don't have to have it, you can kind of sort of rotate these out to the side. And then it just pegs in, get this up, good little pull. Uh, and you can see that, well, I just detached everything. It is pretty much the same. It's got the three holes, just like the RID Optimus had. And that's what this whole section pegs into. Uh, and then you just put these back. But without this on here, that looks even a little bit more kind of goofy to me with that hanging off. I mean, you could rotate it around, uh, I, I guess. It just... The, the whole overall look of the vehicle mode is really kind of fine from like here, but then the back is like a mess, so I don't quite understand it. Now, accessory-wise, he does come with this whole jetpack thing, which again, I'll, I'll show off here a little on, but everything pegs into it, which is, it's a nice thing, and then it, when you put it in there, it kind of, uh, like I said, just from here, 
looks fine. From here, it's like an exploded mess of I don't know what. So I'm just going to remove that because that's going to have to come up for the transformation anyhow. But uh, I mean, that's that's really it. There's not anything that you can do with these uh, other than rotate them out like so. So it's, it's really entirely up to you what you want to do. Now, if you want these missiles, oh, oh here's the forge. Uh, these missiles can peg in here. Uh, <laughs> again, I, I don't know why you, you would want to do that, but you can do that if you want that. I mean, that's how it is in, in the robot mode, so it's just an option, I suppose. Uh, but I do like it. I do wish the, the color was a little bit darker. Uh, not as dark as this, exactly, but a little bit darker of a blue. Uh, that We probably will get something similar to that with the Takara. When you got a really very light blue Autobot logo here, you can kind of make out the Autobot logo for his chest here, and it's upside down. Uh, but overall, it, it's not too bad. It, it's not spectacular. Uh, this is kind of the weakest link in the whole thing. So Now, one thing that you can actually do as well, uh, and I forgot to show this off, that if you open this up, and you take this little bit right here, you can clip this on and uh, getting that clipped on there, kind of angle these down, give this a good push here to lock that in the place. Uh, if you really wanted to, you could create like the, the movie Optimus Prime jet wing look in vehicle mode. Uh, you could do that if you wanted to. Why you would, I, I don't know, but it's it's an option for you if you want to. But uh, detaching this, that clips in really strongly. It's kind of a, there we go. Oh, and a little piece came flying off. So be careful with that. Uh, it's really kind of still actually I see where the it was just extra flash or um uh, on, on this bit right here you can, I can see it right there so that's not that big of a deal but um getting this all straightened back out now to transform them all you have to have to do is rotate these down it is the exact same transformation as the RID Optimus Prime so it's it's not too difficult uh, you guys should know it fairly well but uh, it does get a little bit more complicated especially with here because of his shoulder bits so. Rotate this around, loosen this all up, and you're going to bring this around, fold this up, just like so, and you got his back done, and as you can see, the back is basically the same that we got with the RID one, so there's no difference really there at all. And then you want to loosen this, kind of angle this up, separate this, yeah, there we go. And then fold that down, just get out of the way, and then take these arms. And like I said, you're, you're seeing some of the problem. There, there's a lot of, here, let's get these little bits folded out. Uh, there's, there's some clearance problems here because of these giant shoulder bits. So angle that out like so. It, it's not bad. It, it's just a little bit more of a cumbersome mess. There you go. Fold that out like that. And then you have his head, and you're going to rotate that around, obviously. Come around here, flip this around. Then you're going to pop this, rotate this around, and then he actually has this little chest piece that comes out like so. So rotate that down, bring that all the way up, and then you line up these little tabs on the inside to lock his chest into place. Give that a nice little push, and there you go. And you're gonna rotate these arms around like so. Angle up so you can actually see what I'm doing. Then these bits right here, these will, it's kind of tricky. Uh, to know how to rotate it. There you go, rotate it around like that. Do that on this side as well, rotate that around. And again, because of how big they are, they kind of get in the way and then you actually want to take this and accordion it down. It kind of clips into place when it slots down just like so. Fold the, the wrists down, rotate the, the forearm, do that on this side as well. Take this little bit right here, flail that out just a little, then come around here to the feet separate the legs reach in here rotate that around you got one foot rotate that around you got another foot now make sure that these are completely straightened out then usually what i do uh, i don't like leaving them like this because you, you, it, it just kind of looks weird i actually like taking them and overlapping them on this particular figure i think it looks a little bit better so straightening him out 
getting him to stand properly with his big gigantic shoulders here you have ultra magnus in his robot mode all right guys now before we get into more of a detailed look of ultra magnus we're going to be taking a look at the tales of the beast hunters chapter 16 continued from chapter 15 voyager class grimwing as you see we come down here you got ultra magnus in his well optimus prime almost looking mode and then you got the forge of solace and it says that it's nearly equal to the power of the star saber but uh, again i don't i don't see why he would be able to use it I, I guess maybe anybody can carry it around but when it comes to actually creating things you have to be a prime to do it so i don't know it says by that it's powered by a miniature neutron star at its core maximum power level is unknown ultra magnus never uses more than 50 percent power for fear of destroying the planet um okay and then you come down to the bio and the bio is actually pretty uh, ex uh extreme here it says ultra magnus sees the massive predacon coming from miles away he doesn't know who the big dragon is and he doesn't care all he knows is that the dragons are dangerous and must be defeated he converts to robot mode and leaps into the air bringing the forge of solace around in a shattering blow that would destroy a lesser robot grimwing takes the blow and is only momentarily fade the battle is short, violent, and never in doubt. It ends with Ultra Magnus on the ground, disarmed and barely functional. Grimwing stands over him, pathetic, he says. I hoped to learn something from you, but this new race of Cybertronians must all be liars and savages. He leans down to look into the optics of his Autobot opponent. Be warned, this world is in grave danger from my fellow Predacons. I will restrain them. You and your fellows stay out of my way or be destroyed. And then he is gone, leaving Ultra Magnus dented and smoking in the dust. Incredible. I really like that. And obviously, as we're seeing, this has nothing to do with the cartoon continuity. Uh, who knows if we're going to get this in terms of comic form or not. But I really like the story that they're telling. And then you see that it's continued in Chapter 17, Ultimate Beast Hunter Optimus Prime. Now, as for the figure, there is just something about this that really does impress me. I really was not thinking I was going to like it because I hated the, the R.I.D. mold of Optimus Prime so much. But this guy just looks looks so great uh, one thing that's amazing and I was looking at the CGI model and it really looks very close to what we have here with the toy it's almost as if this toy was originally always designed to be Ultra Magnus now one thing that is I mean a problem I suppose is the shoulder pads here are a whole lot bigger they, they should be about half the size uh, it doesn't bother me all that much because I, I, I love the, the extravagance of it just the sheer gaudiness really does work here now now, one thing I will note, or note to you guys is this bit right here. Uh, I painted red myself. Uh, I just used the red Sharpie. It's it's accurate to how it looks in the cartoon this way. Uh, I wasn't sure how well that would come across, so I just wanted to test it out. Uh, and then what I also plan on doing is painting this whole section down here silver. This whole bit up here should be blue except for the headlights. Uh, so there is some missing paint applications on him, but you can really fix that up fairly easily. But you're seeing a lot of the differences here. Obviously, you've got the different chests. I, I love the fact that these side mirrors when you put them in a robot mode they're flipped upside down because this is this is the the front of them you know when you have them in robot mode uh, and then when you put them into or i'm sorry in the vehicle mode then when you put them in robot mode then being upside down they look like doors which is really very cool I, I love that. That's a really cool kind of touch. Now, I mentioned that this is the uh, the Arms Micron mold, and it really isn't. All it really does is it replaces the forearms with the Arms Micron uh, mold. That, that's about it. The, the actual Arms Micron had a hole here on the side. Obviously, it does not have that here on this. And then on the back, on these uh, side panels here, they also had holes, which it does not now. So uh, the only Arms Micron bit that's carried over are these forearms, but you can see there's no more clear on the forearm, which that, that was just ugly on that Optimus Prime. Now, for his accessories, first we'll take a look at the Forge of Solus Prime, and as you can see, it's just this dull kind of gray plastic, uh, much like what you have on the rest of his uh, body, but the actual hammer section is all silver, which is really very nice. Now, uh, 
For me, I, I'm, I'm not a very big fan of this as being his weapon because Ultra Magnus's hammer should be like huge, like like a giant staff sort of thing. So th this is just going to be a, a random accessory that I'm going to have with my other figures. And since we haven't seen Ultra Magnus using a hammer yet, I, I'm kind of not, that, not all that particular about him having a hammer, so I don't really care, I guess. But uh, really nice. I do really dig it. It could use some extra paint applications, well, kind of like yellow and stuff, and then obviously with the handle but not too bad you can have them hold it fairly easily uh boom there you go i mean it doesn't look too bad like like this but it's just i, I really like it being a much bigger one kind of like the animated one i suppose that's that's kind of my favorite looking one big giant hammer so uh it just works for me that way and then uh, he does come with the missiles and people were asking about this and then all you do is you just first i should angle up so you can see these uh just peg right in here and they're the uh, friction based ones so you can have that but again that's kind of crazy and then they do fold down and then all you do is you have the uh, the missile kind of sticking out here and then you just push that and it goes flying and actually goes fairly far uh, like i said i love the the friction missile sort of system that they're doing here with these instead of the spring loaded one i think that's an absolute wonderful touch now leaving these up if you really wanted to you also had these little clips here on the side you can clip ah if you push hard enough you can clip those there and take this on this side and you can clip it there and you can kind of create that g1 sort of look with the the missiles on the side uh, if that's your cup of tea i suppose i don't really care about that because again he doesn't have that in the in the cartoon so and it doesn't matter to me but it's a, it's an option for you now as for the backpack uh it, it is slightly different than what we got with the beast hunter voyager optimus and i'll show that off here in a little bit but to attach this all you do is you lift this section up like so then you bring this around and then one thing that's actually kind of interesting is you're supposed to angle these off and then you have these little groove sections right down here and i'll show how that actually in uh, goes on there you actually clip it on there like that so first just bring it up close to his head kind of straighten his head out and then when you get that all the way up there you just push it down clips into place and then you line these bits up like i said you have to angle these off to the side and then you slot these up inside here if i can do that right so you can see where it it, it all lines up nicely and that that's actually really very cool i really dig it and then here you have him with his uh the, the jet wing look um again it's not something i'm all that keen on it, it's it's cool you can fold it around i guess uh, i like the fact that it's incorporated with them but it, it just doesn't really serve any purpose i don't think mostly because he, he doesn't have that he doesn't have the jet wing part but i i guess if people really wanted to do that um uh, yeah i guess it's an option for him I, i'm just not really that big of a fan of it and then you can take the missiles and you can peg those here here or then if you want to you can leave them pegged on the inside there it's personal preference but for a size comparison we're gonna set ultra magnus right there and here you have him next to the Voyager class Optimus Prime, which when you look at this, uh, it really is cool that Optimus is a bigger figure because Optimus really should be a bigger figure. But you can see that the wings are uh, toned down a little bit more. They, they are basically the same kind of design. You got the like little bits coming down here and here. It's just this is a smaller down version. And then the wings are all one piece, whereas these are two separate pieces. You got the top section, you got the bottom section. This is all just one piece. So there's a a lot of similarities between them but like i said basically they're scaled down and then for another comparison here we have them next to the first edition optimus and again the first edition optimus it's so hard to see because his his uh, arms are so big uh, the first edition optimus is a bigger figure as well um, as you probably would be able to figure out because the first edition optimus was bigger than the rid optimus so again a wonderful size comparison with these two figures the the scale for me works so very wonderfully i absolutely love it and then just for the fun of it here he is next to the new decepticon cast member shockwave and uh, shockwave also is a much larger figure which just it works for me uh, shockwave should be at least in my opinion a bigger more menacing figure so i really do like that as well one comparison that i didn't do was i guess i should show you him next to the previous ultra magnus figure from transformers prime so here he is 
And here's the original Transformers Prime Ultra Magnus that came out not too terribly long ago. And as you can see, completely different design. This is a far more screen accurate representation of Ultra Magnus than this guy is. Uh, the heads are basically the same kind of design. This one is a much bigger head, so you can't really swap it and put it on there. But one thing that I love more on this guy than this one is the color. The blue on here is a much nicer color for Ultra Magnus and much more accurate. This is way too light of a blue, I think. But I really do think that Takara will probably come along and give us this figure in this kind of color scheme. At least I hope I, they do. Now this is not a bad figure by any stretch of the imagination. I really do like this figure. Uh, it's just in terms of screen accuracy, this guy is all over it. Now when you want to remove this, you just come around here to the back and just give this a good little tug here. And then, like I said, those are the little clips that just clip on. You bring it up and then you push down and it just clips over this back section right here. So then fold this back up and around uh i mean in general I, I like i said i really did not think i was gonna like this figure at all but something about this figure as ultra magnus just really works for me now in terms of his articulation the head is is on a ball joint but all you can really do is get him looking left and right because of the the remold of his head uh he doesn't really look up and down or anything the shoulders are on ball joints so nice range of motion but they are going on an angle so when you rotate his arm, it's like you have to rotate the rest of his forearm just to kind of keep his arm straight. But they move in and out. They rotate here at the upper part of the bicep. They bend at the elbow. The wrists move forward and back. Uh, no waist articulation. The hips are on ball joints, and they, they really are ball joints this time around, uh, which does suck. You can see it is a fairly loose ball joint but that's something that you can fix with some uh, future shine or or super glue or something he rotates at the upper part of the thigh bends at the knee and then the the feet here are on ball joints and a little swivel here so you can get some good poses with the guy but he just looks very heroic now to transform him back what you want to do is come to the shoulders you're going to extend these out just like so do that on both sides of them and then you want to rotate them around or they're like that and then kind of angle them out just for some clearance issues do that on this side as well rotate that out go ahead take the fists you can rotate those up just like so come around here to the the chest piece you're gonna separate that and pull that apart from his body and then angle it down just like so go ahead take this section here tuck that up and under you're gonna rotate that around just like so and then again just kind of get things out of the way as you as you see fit so bring that down just like that you're gonna kind of angle this and then you bring this around rotate this around like so bring this up kind of tuck this underneath here kind of leave it like that I'll usually leave it like this just to make it a little bit easier do that on this side as well bring this in rotate here and then bring that in as well and like i said these because they're so big just kind of get in the way of everything else so you kind of have to just force them where you want them to go bring these two sections together bring the clip piece down you can bring this up on this side get this out of the way bring this up kind of locking this on the side get it over all the tabs that's part of the the complicatedness of it there you go get that done bring that up get those tabs in there give them a good push lock those in just like so come around here with the feet stretch these out rotate these down and tuck them in just like so do that on this side as well you're going to take these fold these back and then you're going to actually tab these in. I didn't know that, notice this, I don't think, in the, the RID one. I mean, I, I'm sure it's there, but I didn't notice it at the time. Um, when you, you have a little tiny tab right on that section there and right there, that tab on the underside of his arms. So you bring those up and lock those into place. There we go. And then, well, here, let's bring these together. There we go, like so bring these up and like I said that whole section kind of locks into place which is really very cool bring this up bring this up these two halves tap together and then you just peg that down like so kind of angle these down 
get that as far down as it goes bring these up and over fill in the gaps on the side peg that on the side do that on this side as well boom and here you have ultra magnus back in his truck mode and these are always really ugly and fiddly work. As I mentioned, Ultra Magnus is a figure that I really did not think that I was going to like. Mostly because I really disliked the R.I.D. mold. But something about this figure, repainted with the added parts and everything, really does say to me that this mold was originally designed to be Ultra Magnus. Now that's pure speculation on my part, but it just works so perfectly. Vioca mode, He's an ugly mess. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm really not a fan of this at all. And as I said, we haven't seen Ultra Magnus in his uh, vehicle mode yet, or if he's ever going to pick one. Uh, so I can't tell you if this is accurate at all. I can't imagine why it would be, because why would he be going around with the Forge of Soulless Prime? But, eh, whatever. The transformation is a little bit more fiddly than in the R.I.D. one, mostly because of these shoulders. Uh, and there's not as much clearance, but it still works fairly well. And the transformation is pretty manageable, I guess. But the robot mode, I think, looks superb. I think with a few extra added paint details, it could really make this figure look perfect, in my opinion. It really does a wonderful job of capturing the on-screen image of Ultra Magnus. To me, this figure is an absolute must-have, and I highly recommend picking him up. Now, if you guys are interested in getting him, go ahead and click on the link down in the video description. You go to Big Bad Toy Store, and you can order this guy right now, as well as the Voyager class Grimwing. And both of the figures, I really think, are worth having in your collection, especially since this guy's actually shown up in the cartoon series. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optivotomous. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomous. And follow me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash Optivotomous. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.